Alright, since apparently I'm a new player and not a veteran, we gotta take off that veteran and... Uh, we're gonna play a Sabo this time instead of Reaper. I mean, we're gonna start the same way more or less though. It's gonna just be a cold night play first of all. Um, since you wanna... I mean, you could also start with like a black pocket, like the <clears throat> you could also start with blackwater cocktail, of course, as well. But I don't know if you want to see that cocktail leveling. It's like you're not looking too bad. The bodies of the you will need kind of bad as well. I mean, it's not bad. It's just the boring, rather. It's not bad at all. Cocktail is really, really strong. Very safe. Way safer than like dual good, by the way. <clears throat> Do you think SR set deserves a buff? Uh, I don't know. Maybe like a tiny one. I think it's fine for SR to not be like best in slot on any build, really. Kind of. I mean, okay, in the base game it's not that easy to get. Because it's a bit grindy to get there, but... It's not, like, super hard either. Like, it's basically guaranteed once you are at shard 60. Like, it's... Okay, it's not that hard to get there. It just takes time. And once you get there, you have it guaranteed, right? So... Nah. Okay, why the fuck am I still default attacking? Hello? Of alacrity, that's pretty nice. I mean, I think Dark One is better than Krieg and SR set. I'd common always show double rare. Smack. Smack. Imagine playing veteran, right? I guess I don't know. I mean, if veteran gave you like more XP, you know, like it does in the league, it's maybe worth more. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's literally just like a challenge mode to like for people that want to hurt themselves. But then again, if you want to do that, you could just like do ultimate or elite from level one as well. At least once you have the merit, grab the portal, go back. Rescue Faldus. SR should just be removed from the game. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, where was the rip clip from earlier from before? We need a new, a new rip command, right? A new rip command. Yeah, I mean, Megaper also suggested it on the forums. Like, as if the more people like you uh, cry about it on the forums, the more pressure they will feel to actually implement that. Like, they're adding another waystone for fucking SR90. Like, who the hell grinds from level 1 to 90? I 
I mean, I guess in a way it also like gives people that are like, you know, that have played this game since forever, like something to work towards. And the base game doesn't have like seasonal environments, so it's it's probably okay. I would like Nemesis monsters to have a meaningful drop only to them. They are none as are viable, uh, avoidable. <clears throat> I mean, I don't know. I feel like then they would need to like change the way you encounter them. Maybe in the main campaign, like currently it's a pain. Like where's the gameplay? Like you just like search for. It's, it's kind of weird. It's the hop, yeah. The hop, the evade. Hop. <laughs> hop. Maybe with max rep you can just get the bounty that points you to the Nemesis mob? Maybe. Uh, the hop has eye frames, by the way, so you can actually dodge stuff with that. Dark Souls style, so you can like dodge into the enemy and not get hit. But it's kind of hard to time, to be honest. What the fuck? I'm uh, missing so much. Hello? Come on. Don't throw away the salt bank, you need it later. Unless you die. What do we have here? A frost point. A frost point is uh, core damage. Just a tiny amount, but <coughs> scrap metal mall. 
That's a big one. And uh, the rest is kind of trash, I guess. Uh, wait, superior of alacrity. That's actually not too bad. In case I want to do a wield. Which I will at some point, like once I'm at uh, the lethal assault. You don't have to sell yellows, like just throw them away. You can sell greens, but like yellows is like me. And I'll make sure to not forget this cave here for the shrine. <clears throat> Ten bro, your button smash, welcome, welcome. And if it doesn't make you take double damage on the back half, it's not really Dark Souls dodge. <clears throat> I guess. Uh, what is a superior? I think I rather want to fall accurate right now. Got a blood cover though. Nice. That's a decent weapon for dual wielding, but it's level what 14? A little deep with a tree, I guess. But like a little late five levels from now. Oh come on, miss. What do you mean miss? There we go. Okay, I need more away, holy fuck. What? It's 95% chance to hit. How did I like miss five times in a row then? Leather spoilers of Amaras's Flurry? Are you kidding me? That's insane. Amaras's Flurry has like plus two to lethal assault, right? That's insane, insane, insane. Dude, does ABB have like a additional like 50% chance to miss or something? What the hell? XCOM accuracy, <laughs> exactly. As any D20, uh, as any D&D player would say, a 1 in 20 happens more often than you would think. I mean, yeah, true. 5% is a 1 in 20. True, 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 true. <clears throat> Did I die? You went into the shower? Yep, I died. I don't know how, but I fucking died. I mean, I know how, but I don't know how I could die like that. My overconfidence, I guess, as always. <clears throat> I had 20% Aetherus <laughs> and died to like the Aether AoE ability. Yeah. Exactly. I got also like trapped inside of it then as well on top. One bone prison. 
absolutely wrecked. Okay, time to learn the dodges against Shambler, because that's uh, something you always needed to do, right? Never mind, this is normal, not Petrum. There's no dodge anyway. You wanna dodge that one though? There we go. Wait, what? The triple rare? Holy fuck. Look at the sound, I mean... Look at the sound, yeah. Look at the sound and shit. Look at the beam and the sound and the icon. So nice. Hop, hop. Oh, hello, trap. Oh, why did I not one point shadow strike? What am I doing? Whoops. Ay ay ay. Fuck. Is there any difference between the smiths? You always go with the old guy. Uh, yeah, they have different crafting bonuses. <clears throat> so whenever you craft an item that is not a component or a relic, or like other consumables, like basically whenever you craft anything that is equipable, that is not a relic, um, that item gets on top of Free and suffix, or on top of whatever it has by default, it gets a crafting bonus. And if you hover over the icon in the bottom left at the smith, I can show you right now once we've saved this guy. <clears throat> Fuck, I actually saved the other guy. Whoops. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, time for Dunkin' Donuts, I guess. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> That okay. I need some time. Looking for a new you? No. I am not. Right, in this window down here, <clears throat> next to combine, you have you can hover over this icon and then you will see what they uh can give you. Like this guy for example has Either energy regen, DA, or percent physique. And you will get one of those three at random whenever you craft anything that you can equip, like here. <laughs> and generally, Angram, the old guy, is just straight up better than Duncan. But like all the smiths in the game have like different stats. So you wanna maybe like check out all of them. Even the secret ones have like different stats. Um. There is one advantage to Duncan though, like these smiths have like some <clears throat> items they can craft that nobody else can craft. For example, Duncan can craft a double barrel pistol. So if you are a fire strike demolitionist, and especially a purifier that wants to do a wield, then you probably want to pick Duncan as your first smith because then you can craft these pistols right away. And they're actually pretty good for fire strike. Greetings, child. Greetings, child. I'm a child. I want a one point, does the <clears throat> at least one point. I'm gonna keep the twelve points in ABB for now. It's not too bad, but I won't have to put any more points into that, into that skill anymore. Um, I rather wanna start to look for one-handers that I can do a wield instead. Uh, also, I should probably like, put the Shadow Strike on here. Mm. 
Also anything that has like upper lacrity suffix, which gives you like more speed is pretty nice because <clears throat> the lethal assault bonus already gives you like so much raw damage anyway. The Celestial Smiths, yeah, where you gamble for legendaries, those also have additional bonuses. So whenever you have, I think it's like OA and DA that you can get there. So when you have, we have like a legendary that has like additional OA and DA on top, then you know, okay, this item was crafted at those gamblers, right? Those Celestial Smiths. You kind of always want to start out with Jacko because of the total speed, and then I'm gonna grab the attack speed on Spider next. After that, Eel into into Murmur. I mean, you can, if you want, also like play Tsunami to get like additional proc earlier. It's not too bad. It's okay. this SSF playthrough or just testing stuff? It's kind of both. Okay, I mean, this should be good for... Can remove magics now? <clears throat> yeah, I mean, these superior bludgeons are kind of always what you want to get for dual wielding. Pretty much the best item you can get in Act 1. I'm gonna be playing Titan Quest 2. Uh, yeah, I'll try it, try it out for sure. Who knows if it's amazingly good? I'll maybe even play it a lot. We'll see. I'm grabbing the aura now. Just a one pointer, and you don't have to activate the aura anymore. It will automatically activate now with this patch. Well, I'll be. Yeah, yeah, Titan Quest 2 is made in Unreal, I think. <clears throat> A shield breaker. Hmm. I mean, Malagant, like, made some, some time ago. Maybe, I mean, he was playing Grundon again the last couple of days, right? I think. I saw him play. <clears throat> so who knows, maybe he's gonna make another, like, fresh start again as well. He seems to be back with 1.2. Which is good to hear. Manas Grimstone Shipbreaker was amazing. Yeah, it was okay. To be honest, the item is kind of bad in a way, but what you accomplish with the weapon is pretty nice. Pretty respectable. What he made, like what he made the character work, even though that item was kind of mediocre.
and honestly like still is mediocre. Yeah, it was meant to win with procs, that's true. Kind of fun. Final March, eh? That's a nice one, level 14. That's a huge pair of boots, it's like really 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 fucking good. So you only need like three fabrics over here and then you're kinda out. Just like, skip the rest of the mobs. But if there's a totem, you don't want to skip the totem, right? Shadow's Grasp. Tempest of the Wool. Rigatine Jacket. Yep. And some gloves. And uh, rings. Yeah, we do want to use those green rings, honestly. They have like flat damage on them on top. Pretty nice. And I could also start dueling now, to be honest. Question is just what I use here. Sky Fallen of Blood, maybe. And this one's level 14 as well. And maybe I should like wait one more level for dual building until I can use the blue item that I have. Nah, if this broadsword was like of of alacrity, I would use it, but it's not. Sprung Spirit is still a nice skill to build around these days. Uh, in 1198, I think it kind of sucks, actually. Like, it's okay. Or like, on top of other pets, but it's not like... You don't, you don't really like, play around it. Or like, build around it. You rather build around Briarthorn, and then you use that one on top. I think it's getting buffed though, next match. Like with the one I'm playing on right now. But then again, I'm no pet expert. There are other people that know more about pets than me for sure. Imagine playing the game, you envy. Welcome, welcome. So next year? Now this patch is gonna be out this year. Right, this this patch is gonna be out this year. Like I don't know, October, November maybe. Needs to go further. I think it needs to do it needs to either be quicker and go further, or be slower, have more iframes due to being slower, and just be a dodge roll instead. I think either or. You got stuck in all the corners. I mean, yeah. It's just like the other movement skills that also get stuck in all the corners. It doesn't have any hidden super tech that the others don't have. Okay, level 14. We just pump this and we start dual wielding. Start dual wielding with this item and not this one anymore. What's the other one gonna be? Probably this one. Right, 616, 663, okay. So we want blood cover in the offhand because it has like more hit damage and ABB hits with your offhand only if you're dual wielding. Oh, 
Oh, there's the totem here. Let's do the totem. See totem, do totem. Click totem. Dude, my attack speed is slow right now. What the hell? I probably haven't picked all the devotions that I could be picking right now. Also, these are gauntlets with attack speed right there. Could be a nice upgrade. Hell yeah. Okay, also boots upgrade. Uh, what do I have here? Belt upgrade. Cruel edge. Oh. Oh, sure. Just find two weapons that are blue and just use them. I mean, blue weapons aren't necessarily better than greens usually in this game. They're <clears throat> about equal depending on like the slot and the class and so on. Depending on many things, honestly. But in this case, they're actually really nice. Also, mostly because my green items kind of suck. Imagine using components. Yeah, imagine, dude. I'm gonna start using components. Actually, I could also like equip this one. Once we are past one Krieg. You don't need components for Act 1, really. It's optional. But yeah, like, going further, like, a lower level. 15, 20, and higher, once you're like into Act 2 or Forgotten Gods, then you definitely want to use components. You have to use components. Getting the weapon pool skills as well. They buffed Amaris's blade burst a lot, actually, right? It's, it's, it feels certainly stronger around this level than it used to in the past. Guardsman breastplate. Hmm. I mean, sure, why not? Oh shit, I don't have enough physique of it. Well, okay, I need one more level then for stats. Hook the ring one. Yeah, good question. I don't know. Later, I guess. You wanna do something else? Uh, yep. I mean, just do something else, that's fine. I can look at your build also, like, next stream if you better go. I need to go back. What am I doing? I'm like beelining to one creek right away. Don't don't do that. Go back to Devil's Crossing, hand in your quests, and go into the cellar to get the second bag. Don't do this. What the fuck? 
cab, maybe. Sir, well, since I did. Okay, do I have enough physique now? Nope. Uh, no. Nope. No. 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 Wait, what the fuck? I need two more physique. Okay, do I have a Polish Emerald? Yes. Okay. Okay, now I have, now I have enough. I guess we are using some components then. I need one already. Some pol polished Emeralds. Or stats. Nothing wrong with that, you get like more than enough anyway. Yeah, this is a little bit less damage for ABB, but it's just so much more damage in general. It's kind of crazy. Play half, yeah. Oh shit, the thunder. Monka? Oh. Dong dong. Who went to church today? Only a dollar rare. Welcome to Reef. Look at this one, though. That's an extra triple rare. Why do they have the same sound? At least this one has a bigger beam and like. Two stashing that stuff, yeah, 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 exactly. So this is normal MI, triple rare, double rare. So this is like same icon, but like fancy, big loot beam, smaller loot beam, and then blues look like this, and legendaries well look different. And blues have icons. On the map, double rares also have icons on the map, and triple rares also do have icons on the map. Standard MIs do not. Okay, now we have the second bag. Very nice. Wait, are still are these still better maybe? Maybe this one. Yeah, 
Ooh, of a lag shot there. A lot better than the triple rare just because of attack speed. 3%. Uh, no way. No way, no way. If I was uh, am I with single rare consoles double? No, it doesn't. It does not. Like this one has a single rare suffix. It does not. Okay, time for Krieg. I can toggle or something with the loot filter. It's always on. I want blooms to hit the ground and then some anime girl, girl go ooh. Yeah. Understandable. I mean, what? Couldn't be you, yeah. Same. Should it? I don't know, they're gonna drop like candy. You have Ubu and your PUE filter. Did Zedat score that again? I already got them last run. Okay. the Krieg or Megalol. All right, I mean, just hop over the thing and then you kill him, right? Hop over the jump or uh, over the stomp. Or the wave attack and then you just kill him. This is actually better than my final march already. What the hell? It's less slow rust, it has additional elemental rust though, it's 2% less movement speed though, it does have additional health though, and it has more armor. Hmm. Question hmm. mark. <laughs> there was no Aether pool to stand on, so I couldn't die. Is it finished? The Warden's defeat is a great victory for us. So you must pie before. Alright, we can look at your build real quick. Is that patch on beta patch? Uh yeah. And the one the 1.2 I'm playing right now is in the playtest. It's a public playtest. So you can play it as well if you want. Alright, so. Uh, after one creek, you want to go to Forgotten Gods, grab the movement ability there. <laughs> I have it. Oof. 
Sorry to hear that, dying hermit. Sorry to hear that. Explorer's footpads. Honestly, if you get these, you should probably just use them, right? The emissary. More XP gain. The emissary. And so on. It's pretty decent. At least around this level, they're like really, really good. The emissary. Uh, we want to sign it with Dreek, probably. Deluxe. I could hear. The weeping much the You can't play beta because of G force now. Like. Wait, what? See you around. Is that how it works? You play with G force now, then you can't play a beta? That seems weird. Off the Venom Claw. Oh, plus two Lethal Assault? Hell yeah, holy, that's crazy. Yep, good buy. Blue items. As I said, like, blue items aren't necessarily much better than greens. Wait, the chest is pretty nice though. Yeah. Pretty decent. I mean, it's not really amazing, but it's okay. Play main game? Yeah, this is uh, unmodded. This is just uh, the main game. I have a build. I have this for Reaper and this for Sabo, but it's like just very, very, very rough sketches. Um, it's a fresh start after all, like no... No items for stash. So yeah, very rough sketch. Dude, what are these drops? And the rest is flurry again plus the lethal assault. Holy shit, dude. It's insane. Green items, login. Where what now? Like 18 points in LA? It's crazy. Absolutely nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. These nuts. Okay, we just want to push to Ring of Steel now. Rune carved of ruin. Eh. Of ruin and suffix as physical damage, so it's not that good. The prefix is okay though. The rune card.
Okay. Do I want to use this one? Or that one? Uh, probably this one. The Night Hunters. These, I feel like actually both might be... I mean, Zedots is really good there. Hmm. Zedots might still be better. Actually. Uh, it's the mods though. But what they did add is... They added, for example, this. Like Loot Beam and special icon for triple rare. Loot Beam and like another different icon for double rares. Blues also have like a small blue Loot Beam. Blues also have like an icon on the map. And so do these. And well, legendaries obviously would have that too. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Not gonna lie, pretty cool. Okay, I should actually start using components now. So, I kinda have shitty components though, not gonna lie. And I need to craft some. At the latest of level 20, I wanna craft cold stones, so at that point I should go back and craft stuff. I guess I can wait until then, but I'm crafting other stuff. Oh shit, he has a glowing weapon that looks kinda cool. I love how in this game, when you fight an enemy, you can see what he's wearing, like what he's gonna drop as well. He has the lightning rod. It's kinda cool. I mean, bad item for my build, but still cool. Yeah, the rainbow should also just like be a part of the loot filter in the game to be honest. I don't know why it's not part of the game. <clears throat> Is my elite charge still alive? Uh, the level 80 rune master? Yeah. Still alive, yeah. Okay, I'll be honest, this feels actually like a lot better having still like some point in ABB than it used to. Like, ABB actually scales really good now. I think you probably... Like, it doesn't feel as mandatory to like rush Ring of Steel anymore, but like ABB deals already this much damage. Okay, let's put some more points in here. Actually, they... Yeah, and that's also fine to get that node. I feel like if I played Ellie, I would just play Softcore. Mm, Ellie is fine for Hardcore until like level 80. Because it's so easy anyway until level 80. Or like until empowered models basically. Glacial or Frostbite or shit. Mm. I mean... That's kind of juicy, not gonna lie. Sure. I mean, you lose the loot though in softcore, right? If you choose the wrong mods and die. 
It's not like completely meaningless. Wait, is it Envy's birthday today? Yo, Henry Dong, welcome on, welcome on. How are you doing? Good, you're back. This is some bullshit. <laughs> Ads working as intended, I guess. I don't know, like, yeah, Twitch is fucking crazy with ads, I'm sorry about that. Thanks for the reset, though. Welcome back, Envy. Also, is it like actually your birthday or are you just like beaming? It is? Holy happy birthday, my man. He is birthday, man. 32 years young? Eh. Almost as young as me. Skinner's final family seal. Uh, I mean, it's actually better than this ring, isn't it? Okay, I should start crafting components now. Uh, level 19, I'm gonna hit level 20 soon anyway. So we need two cold stones, obviously, right? You wanna play two cold stones. You wanna play uh, anti -Anna solve. You wanna put something else in gloves here. We save these for level 20, then you want to play Scaled Hide on this. I mean, that's fine if you don't have the other thing yet. And then Ward Stone, right? Ward Stone is OP for like uh, Metal and Amulet for now. I can put another anti-venom into ants, I guess. Sure. Gore feast. Hmm. I can actually weigh the blitz. It's funny. It actually works. It's funny. Oh, then you could just like evade Iron Maiden blitz and like what's it called? Baby Shadow Strike as well. That's actually pretty cool that you that's something that you cannot really do with other movement skills as well. I mean you could like try to bug them out for like just moving away well as well. So you could kinda already do it.
He found apparently PoE takes 4.2 billion experience to hit 100. Grindona's like 29 mil. I mean, how much experience do monsters give though? That's another another uh, thing to consider, right? Oh shit, you know? Oh my god, okay. Skill disruption actually disrupts your pots now as well because their skill is now. Ay ay ay. That wasn't the case before, I think. Hmm. So now you get skill disrupted and then you cannot use your pots anymore. Wow. Okay. That is certainly different. They should fix that. Mm, I mean, in a way, it's like working as intended. That shouldn't be intended though. Maybe not. Alright, eel. Eel into murmur. Picking up the dynamite from like across the, the room is just so, it feels so dirty, like, how is it legal? How is it range, that pickup range legal? Oh damn, dude. Got the crony ring here. Holy shit, dude. Normal is such a joke compared to that one. He already, already, already almost died before I. Oh, he can even like put up his bubble. It's crazy the difference, actually. Did they nerf normal and like buff veteran or something? Reaper's touch again. Oh, nice. Not too bad, not too bad. Obviously, this is um, not great. <clears throat> I don't want to lose the lethal assault, though, to be honest. So we do it like this. Zealot's gauntlets. Um, this should be probably still an upgrade. I change LA to PB, which is fine. Glacial of Scorching, huh? No. 
Light bringers of corrosion. Great bond of thunder. No, 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 no. Okay, we go to the next uh, waypoint, which is just around the corner, and then I'm gonna go back and change my components real quick. I mean, Ben. Ben is kinda crazy, though. Ben is slightly above average. <laughs> Come to think of it, skill disruption existence should be unintended. <laughs> I mean, skill disruption is like... I feel like in vanilla it was probably like the most hated mechanic. And then arcane happened. Just keep this one. Mind control and fear were the most hated? Uh, I guess, yeah. I mean, only if you're a pet player, though. Imagine playing pets, so... You just play Brawler's Distinction, honestly. Like, it fixes all your CC res, in a way. I mean, it doesn't totally fix them, but it helps a lot, a lot. Nature's Bounty, what does it do? Eddie Rest, Chaos Rest. Ah, we have LA on this still. Kinda can't afford to lose it for now, even though the armor is really low now. On that shoulder piece. So we keep this, we apply another relic, another rift tear, put it on the bar again. Put the Aether Cluster on the bar. Once you've defeated Kronda, you can. Keep an Aether Cluster for yourself, this is kind of like a panic button. Gives you 75% absorb for... What is it, like 3 seconds? 4 seconds? 8 seconds? Well, oh, Never mind, no. it's even 8 seconds, I forgot. It's kind of crazy. Come, friend. Ride to bid. Okay, uh, what's the situation like here? Okay, we need like still one, two, three, four more to start pulling points from the crossroads. Let's go back here, give back the relic. We could also keep the relic or craft a new one. Um, maybe we should actually craft a new one. I don't really need the energy that badly, do I? <clears throat> Not really. So, but I'm gonna show you, right, if you keep the talisman, you get the talisman as a relic instead, and this one has like a mana infusion skill, which, well, gives you more energy regen and a bit more damage as well for a while. Also, I should pressing ring of steel here. What am I doing? Why is it not on the bar? Royal Jelly for you. Let's go. It's almost the best relic to start out with. Uh, mm. I think it's on par with other relics. I think it's overrated a bit. I also thought it's like the best relic ever. Mm, I kind of don't think it's the best relic ever. Like for, for starting. It's, it's good, yes. But I think it's a bit overrated. Well, it's pretty good, yeah, for sure. Okay, uh, I want to put some other points, like one here, one here, one here, maybe. That sounds good. You kind of want to max your aura at some point. Eventually, you want to like put more points into the speed, the attack speed here. You could put more points in AVB, but eventually you want to rather actually remove the points there. I'm like getting out of mana because of AVB actually. I have too many points into it, I think. I might need to actually like, pull some as well. But then again, I do have the mana relic. So with the mana relic, I guess it's fine, but 
eventually I'll not use it anymore and then it might feel bad with mana. Yeah, Equilibrium, for example, has movement speed on it, which I don't need now, but if you need movement speed earlier, Equilibrium is like really, 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 really nice. You were expecting Celestial Totems to be able to apply Sunder. They don't. Dude, I did not expect like some random ass Ethereal to apply Sunder when it dies, but I guess that's basically a bug. And then there is... Um, Some other thing that also applies Sunder for some reason. Also, another reason why this Redek is actually even worse now than it was before. You have infinite pots now anyway. So... Yeah. It's just a bit less value. Already now as well. Is there Sunder in Grim Dawn? It's like a debuff. Sunder is a debuff in Grim Dawn. A new debuff. Dude, normal is such a joke. Like, <laughs> compared to veteran before, it's. Uh... Also, maybe like ABB is better than I thought it was. I mean, they buffed it. It seems pretty crazy actually now. Probably the best ability for leveling when I played now, actually. Like, this is. Some... Like 3k damage? What the fuck? No crits, 3k? It's not bad at all. What is level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, last last patch, I just deemed like unstreamable. It was kind of ridiculous. I mean, not that I was really able to stream anyway, but. There it is, Incorruptible. Incorruptible is a really, really nice affix for endgame especially. This one has kind of low values though. The thing is, you don't want to notice when you get hit, you want to notice what the ability looks like so that you don't get hit. And it works well, for example, I think in Magara it's well done. They could maybe like reduce the speed of the animation like a little bit more. Generally, like, Mogara's uh, Sunder is good and feels fair to play around. Uh, same for Vilos in the, in the, in the setter. I don't know if Warden Creek has one, maybe. Actually, I don't think so. Um, who else has it? Oh yeah, Ravna has it. It did not feel fair with Ravna. Because she literally just like auto attacks you and it instantly applies it like what? It's so quick as well. It's it's kind of bullshit to be honest. Oh, the mines thunder. Okay, I mean, if you don't get hit, then they don't thunder. I guess. I guess that's more impactful when you're, or like more noticeable rather when you're playing ranged. If you're playing melee, then he doesn't cast the mines anyway. Oh, look at this, we got a special longsword this time. Very poggies. Very nice, very nice. Yesterday your laptop flashed a big blue screen with a sad smiley on it. Is that due to Sunder as well? Yeah, maybe your laptop got Sundered. We go here, go in here. Your base does work one. Would you consider making a video for us who plan to come back to Grim Dawn after the expansion? That covers the important bits of what has happened the past couple of years or whatever, the most important stuff. This is what you yeah 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 for sure. Yes, 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 yes. That is on my list. Um the expansion does kinda take like another year though to come out, I think. Like they said next year. And they said if they do too much stuff. Then it's gonna be even later, like in two years, like in 2025. 
my guess would be like well second half of 2024 but we'll see so i have like some still like some time to to make that video i guess i could make a video about like 1.2 though when it comes out like shortly before 1.2 comes out explain like all the changes for 1.2 like the mechanics and like how you wanna how you wanna deal with thunder and so on i could do that i think it also would be a nice start yeah it, it, it has to be like winter 2024 like i don't know i think like october is probably like, the earliest but we'll see did I die? Uh, no, definitely not. Totally not. I never die. What do you mean? Uh, exclamation point drop, I guess. Ten hours to one hundred. No, I can't. Not an SSF man. I mean, I guess like, nah, might be possible. Not sure. <clears throat> Maybe it's actually possible. Okay, we got a soul shard now. Let's put it here. That's a great item. A great component. There's also another good component, but I don't have it yet. What the fuck? There's like one that gives you like wit and bleed rest for gloves. So far I only have shite. Unlucky, I guess. Okay, what's on here? Fields, boulders of vicious barbs, scythe... Uh, who cares? Spectral Bludgeon, Spectral War Shield, Iron Halberd. Hmm. I got that Child of Cruelty Longsword though now. I mean, I gotta use it right, I gotta use it. It's way too good. And I played instead of the Cleaver now, I think. Which means we go back and sell anyway, so we can pick up some items here. These also bad with their affixes. scammed I want to keep my dynamite thank you once you need to actually dismantle items it's obviously good to give him the dynamite but that time has not come yet I just died to aether damage while having 20% aether rest and getting trapped on top of it And, uh, there you go. Of shadows, but they seem to drop a lot of blighted maniac and cabal. Well, of shadows is not a acid affix, is it? So he will have a smaller chance this patch to drop it than last one. Because they increased the affinity, meaning 
things that are not the same affinity are harder to get now. There are new shrines. Are there? Mm, I don't think there are new shrines now. No, no new shrines. Seen some in Tomb of the Watchers on normal. Oh wait, did they also activate new sh uh, shrines just like in the League? Well, maybe they did that. Maybe they did the same thing that we did in the League as well, like activate the shrines for normal and so on. I mean, it makes sense. Like it makes sense with their change to have normal scale all the way to 100 as well. No 110 hours. I mean... I really like to slow bot out right now. You would need to skip more stuff and get to elite and automate like even quicker. Like way quicker. You spoiled it? No, no, it's fine. Something of the winter storm, where is it? Oh, there it is. Let's do the night's chill. I mean, that's juicy. That is juicy. However, I would lose Pierce and Aetherus. I could fix it, I guess, some in some other way later. How many times have I said they did as we did in the league the last few weeks? Uh, well, more than once. More than once. Definitely more than once. With alts it's like, yeah, it's like 6, yeah. Nah, usually on fresh characters it's like 20 hours. Something like that. I mean, it's usually like 22, 23-ish hours to kill Lokar. Like level 1 to killing Lokar is like something like 23 hours usually, or like 25. What do I have in my weapons? I have so-called cold stones. You can craft these at the smith. They are level 20. They require you to be level 20. And at level 20, they pretty much double your damage. If you're playing a cold character. There are similar items for fire. For aether. For chaos. Uh, for pierce. Not for all damage types, but they are pretty crazy. Did, did they... I feel like they made Veteran harder. How is this so much easier than Veteran? Oh shit. What the fuck? Maybe they made normal easier. Not sure. Never played normal? No, no, I played normal a lot. I, I play like normal a lot, a lot, because usually I level in normal when I'm... Uh, I mean, I don't really level in normal that much. But when I... Um, 
Say for example, last league I was leveling in normal because you could go like normal into ultimate. But then again, I did play like normal and then at some point turn on veteran and then play ultimate. But like for fresh start for my guides, I usually always... I mean, I, I played like veteran half of the time and like the other half of the time I feel like normal, so... I, I have played it a lot. Maybe I just didn't play the game in general that much the last couple of like months. At least not like vanilla. But then again, I also died in veteran, so... <laughs> Maybe this is the right... What? Why do I get the level 5 etched horn with only one prefix at level 25? Uh... Is this a, is this a thing still? I thought they kind of like eliminated these. It sounds maybe like bug report territory. I thought items like always drop with two now. Or like after some patch at some point. But maybe they're like quality change, quality um, buff. Kind of made it so that you can get like single rare FX items again. I'm not sure. Any plans for another full fresh SSF start guide? I mean, this one is kinda one. I'm mostly testing features of this patch though in a way as well and like looking for bugs while basically doing like an SSF playthrough. So it's not like as in-depth as it usually is I guess. But people could follow this in a way. I will definitely do another one when 1.2 actually hits. Looking for traps and damage, yeah. Uh, What is this etched horn of frostbite? Like, why do these drop? Are these horns bugged? Seems weird. So if you wanted to clear the highest Shadow Realm possible solo, what character would I make? Uh, pets? Probably. Pet character or something like Grasping Vines maybe? Grasping Vines, Archon or Pets? I guess either or. I mean, I would never play Pets, but if I had to like suggest it to somebody then yeah. Well, I have a pets are pretty good for deep pushing. Pets were bad after some nerf. What? No, pets were never bad, and pets also pretty much only got buffs the last couple of patches. Some nerfed with thorns? I mean, that was like five years ago. Like, literally five years ago. There have been like tons of patches since then. And also back then, like, thorns pets was like one out of like 50 billion pet builds.
How old is Grand Dawn? I mean, the original game came out 2016, right? Which is, well, seven years ago, I guess. And the, la the last expansion was Forgotten Gods 2019. So four years ago. Are we able to play test and help with the devs with bugs and give feedback? Yes, everybody can. So what you do is you go to... You go here to the forums, you go here. You go down to public test. Um, you go to... Public testing fuck. Uh, first of all, you have to have the game on Steam though, otherwise it doesn't work. If you were playing on GOG, then you can unfortunately not test, but... Hey, what? What is it not? What the fuck? Hello? Link? URL? What are you doing? The fuck? What is happening? There we go. So go over here, beta code, then you can select the tester and then you can well download the test patch and start testing and then you can just like report all bugs you find over here into the public test bug reporting section over here. And the more stuff you report, the quicker the devs know what's up and well, you can probably have an impact on like how quickly this patch actually goes live. I'm gonna drop a portal here and then like ah, come I've back here later. You, human. Thanks for the prime semantics. Welcome to Bloomers. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. Uh, 800 hours in Dawn. Yeah, that's that's enough. You don't have to have like 7,000 like me. 800 is fine as well. That is totally fine. I mean, you can have eight, like 7,000 hours on this game and still down veteran. Like I just did today. Like, To be fair, I haven't played it that much the last couple of months after the league ended, but... Yeah. I don't know, just stupid death. We're happily into the game's design. Nice, nice. Yeah. I mean, Grim Dawn is fully moddable as well, right? If you dare to work with the guffed modding tools, then uh, you can have lots of, uh, well, fun, I guess. The tools are pretty old, though. Unfortunately. And the skills with this engine... Well, I mean, it's like its own engine, right? It's like, kind of like based upon the... Wait, I don't have enough dynamite? How? What? What? Oof. Guess we're gonna go to Pine Barrens later then. And we just fetch Algorim right now. So how could Grimdorn Veteran Classic. Classic. Okay, at least here in Homestead you can craft dynamite. Do I need these items? Do I need Gore Feast? No. Do I need this? No. Do I need this ring? No. Hmm. Wild Caller's Cowl? I mean... How is this item so bad? How is it so fucking bad? It has four lines and none of them are res. Huh? How is this item so garbage? Okay, this one is not garbage though. This one is fine. That item has feelings too. 
Dude, if it's so garbage, like, I think... It's almost as if it's like... I don't know, man. Like, it's so fucking bad, dude. Holy shit. I hear you dragged all of them so I wasn't sure you'd make it. I wish I'm going to check in with... Uh, no, they, they won't. Like, what they said, basically, in the stream was... West of Fort Icon, right? So, you have the mountains here. Like, they're probably gonna expand the map to the west. Like, to the left here. So, it's, it should be, like, around here. The expansion. Whereas our leak content is here. So, it's fine. <laughs> Moving Port Valerie again, yeah. <laughs> I mean, we don't. No, actually, it's fine. No, 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 we just we just import our own Port Valerie, right? We delete the official one and import our own. Then it's fixed. Then you just have to like it. Then the the pathing is saved. When will this patch release? Uh, probably when it's ready. Um, more serious answer would be probably at the end of October, maybe early November, something like that. I would expect like late November, uh, late October probably. But I will see. Uh, I also again forgot to craft dynamite. Good job, me. What the fuck? So you can craft dynamite, not in Devil's Crossing, but you can in Homestead. And uh, for that, you need Aether Shards, which you can craft with Aether Crystals. There we go. I need to pull some points from this, like I'm taking needs too much mana, holy shit. Way too much mana. Mm, that's of the elements, right? Yeah. I need to fix my filter. Okay, so Mogara is Thunder. On this attack. Fuck. <laughs> it's so hard to dodge it, holy shit. Oh, well, it's only a normal. A normal doesn't matter, I guess. Normal Omega Lord. Just don't get hit. I know, right? I know, right? Don't get hit. Just evade. Just evade. Now you want to search the other... Um, K 
cave here that is not marked on the map. There is one that's marked on the map and another one that has like random spawns and is like rather random locations and is for example here. That one is the one we want to enter. What the fuck? What was that like quadruple shadow strike sound? Holy shit. I need to change it. I, I don't know, man. Like, it's... Hop. Hop. <laughs> it just doesn't fit that well with the rest of the animations, which are all fine and good and look nice. Have I applied for a job with Crate? I have not. Uh, I have no degree in computer stuff any at all. Like I don't have any computer science degree. I don't have any like game design degree. I don't have anything like that. I mean, I could just like say to them, "Yo, look at my or, like rather our mod." And I mean, honestly, I, like my programming skills are also like not good enough right now. Like it's just kind of scuffed. They are slowly getting better, but it's like, yeah. Just design Titan Quest 2. Yeah. The other problem is you have to be a US citizen to work for Crate right now, still. I don't know why. I'm scuffed. Or actually, I don't think you have to be a citizen, but you have to like live in the US at least. Which eventually would mean that you also should be a citizen, I guess. I mean, Ground Zero said I can live in his house. In his basement? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Monka. Problem solved. Hmm. The other problem was like, what kind of position should I even apply for? I'm like a Pepega streamer. I'm a Pepega developer. I feel like I can do like a couple of things like decently, but nothing like actually well, you know? I don't know. It's a rough topic. Influencer, yeah, Kek W. <laughs> Hello, Crate. Would you like to hire an influencer? Mascot? Yeah. Creative direction? The thing is, like, Xanta is pretty much like a, you know, like game design creative director kind of thing, so, and I don't know how many creative directors they have in their company. I mean, there are like 10 people anyway, right? They have like two or three artists or like people that do like models and animations and stuff. Whoever did this animation, like, please redo it, by the way. Um, <clears throat> and, and then they have like Xantai for like game design and then some others for like programmer, for programming, right? Um, that are like, for example, working on the Grimdon 2 engine right now. Uh, so I don't know, like, I guess, and also they said they are hiring, actually, but they basically only need programmers that are, like, you know, good at C++, and I am not that. I'll skip, you're joking. The Legion is split on two you're joking, yeah. No, I'm actually not. 
unfortunately. I mean, that said, when I said like something about YouTube videos and stuff, I need to like look at the last stream again exactly and like listen to Zenta's exact words again. He said something like, well, it depends on like what I can offer or something like that, right? Like, he didn't say no. I have to think of something that doesn't sound too Pepega. Grand on 2 and Unity, <laughs> yikes. Now they're making their own engine. They're not using Unreal, not using Unity, they're just making their own engine. Yeah, they're, they're making one uh, for RTS slash RPGs. So they're gonna make actually an RTS on the engine first and then come down to. That's at least their plan. The RTS based engine based on Unity? No. Uh, Farthest Frontier is based on Unity. I'm pretty sure. But Father's Frontier is not the RTS. Father's Frontier is a city builder survival game. It's not an RTS. City builder lead, exactly. Okay, we want to search for the cave entrance, which should be, well, somewhere around here. Has like, has like a couple of spots, and this is one of them. Guess we got kind of lucky here, just found it right away. Go into the second cave here only because the second cave is where you have goddess as well as the shrine. I should up the elements again. The scuffed epics. Have they said anything about Father's Frontier if it changes anything? Uh, it should be so sad if they have to put it into the bin, it has so much potential. No, 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 they're gonna release 1.0 for Father's Frontier. It's it's doing decently well, I think. Not as not as well as like Grim Dawn has after all these years, but I mean... I think it's a solid game that has... Uh, I think they have sold enough copies for it to be a success. Just not as like crazy of a success as Grim Dawn was, of course. So it's it's fine. I think the game is actually good as well. Like I just haven't played it a lot in a long time. I should play it again. I think they brought out like a new patch as well, like 0 0.9 or something. Should check it out. It's a good game. It was it's fun. This camera rotation is the most awesome and addictive thing this game has. Like, once you start rotating, you cannot stop. <laughs> you just always want to, like, min-max your movement and your vision and your shadow strikes. It's just, like, I don't know. Like, you just want to do it.
had opened that. Mm, unlucky that I forgot the other. Yikes. There's like a second guy over here, I guess. Yeah. They have like different spawn locations as well, but yeah, I guess he spawned exactly in the one spot that I missed. And he has the other pheromone gland. Of course, this one is blocked as well. Cool, cool. Hell yeah. There he is. Just get some stats for now. Uh, maybe a point here to freeze enemies and then like some more points into the Weight of Shadow. Uh, we can also put more points on Shadow Strike actually, since I have this item. Shadow Strike is pretty nice. And the scaling is also pretty good until like 16 points. Alright, this mob, this boss right here is well it's still normal so it's gonna be fucking easy however stage two sunder is bullshit in my opinion like it's just it's a default attack like this fucking no this fucking attack here applies it like what okay she just died but i mean <laughs> uh yeah it's a bit it's a bit weird the animation should be different for a attack that applies sunder like, it's just a... The attack is just, like, too quick. I don't know what they were thinking. If it only, like, hit on the backswing, for example, it would be fine. But it hits, like, twice, and the first attack is so quick, it's crazy. I mean, I guess once you know, you know, and then you can just plan around it. But that boss does not incentivize using the evade ability, because it just makes you want to bait out the ability and then engage after that. Which is... I don't think that's, like... The plan for it? I don't know. Maybe it's fine as it is. No clue though. You're jumping over this to like... I mean, I could have also just like ported I guess. It's like every time I'm like, look at this, another reason to use evade. And then it's like, eh, I could have just like rift, rift warped over there as well. Hmm. As an experiment, try resetting camera view and remove keybind for rotate. Dude, especially on a night play, like, it's just impossible, man. Maybe on a pet build you can do it. If you have Shadow Strike, it's like, you wanna, like, always top left, you know, or, like, top right. You know? It's just so much smoother. That's my rest, 41? Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Normal Omega Lord. Should play Veteran maybe, I don't know. What do you think guys? Should we die in Veteran again? I can't play Normal man. This is just easy. I need to die in Veteran. Sacro 3 out, Pog. Sacro 3, let's go. Dude, maybe Crate's RTS is basically gonna be like Sacro 3, man. That would be pretty nice. But yeah, you need like insane APM and reactions. I'm also like, I feel like I'm also like too old for RTS. And I'm not even that old yet. Copium. There was much I see my scouts have. Just the per there are two of You're building the mod? I have come to rest. <laughs> nah, it should be fine usually. Nah, nah, nah it should be fine. Do 
do young people play RTS? I mean, they also don't. But like when we were young, you know, back in the day, be boomer, young people played RTS. And as somebody who has played a lot of RTS in his past, I feel like I stopped being able to play RTS when I was like 24 maybe, something like that. We're not gonna do the Blood Feast quest, that's kinda like... A waste of time. Uh, what I do need to check this out, time out though is my Chaos and Vitras, and there's still garbage yet again. Cool. Uh, I do have a Kyrians though, which gives us vis vis vit <clears throat> vitality resistance, and also would give us more attack speed. So I should take out the Emerald for my chest and put in the Kyrians. That is an upgrade. There we go, right, upgrade. Nice, nice. Uh, yep, 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 yep. So we put points over there. We can put another... Uh, I'm gonna pull some points from ABB now, I think. I have too many points in there, and I do need more HP. You want at least like 100 HP per level. My HP is... Uh, kinda low, not gonna lie. Kinda low. Could pull some more, honestly, probably. What's the scaling here like? So it's 5 after 16, and then 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, 7, Okay, just one point then, I guess. And we max out these two and then push. At least here. Should put some more points at Shadow Strike. I have the item for it. With 3k HP now, so it feels a lot more comfortable. And also, we have access to Murmur now. Put it to Shadow Strike. Remove the other crossroad points <coughs> of these two over here, which you can do now because the Jackal and Spider can sustain themselves, and Murmur only needs uh, 6 green and 6 blue and 3 red. Okay, let's continue. And I should have stopped the thing. Fuck. Alright, uh, let's try for... Alright, is it still back? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. Killed by one drive upload, yep. <laughs> dude, what the fuck, dude? Oh my fucking god, dude. Uh, I never had this issue with... I mean, I guess, nah, it, it's fine. It's, it is what it is. Should have just paused it when you warned me. I should just disable it when I'm streaming. What am I doing? That's that's my bad. But yeah, welcome back, guys. Sorry for the for the F. 
What secondary am I gonna go for? Uh, Demo or Necro? What was it gonna be? I mean, I don't know. I kind of want to play Reaper, I think, again. Though. Might uh, like Necro maybe again. Sepulter is a beast as well, though. Serral? Serral? Wait, what may I do? Serral? Raynor Clem? Wait, Starcraft? Oh, is he, is he Swedish? Is he Svensk? He likes bouncing around his base cameras. Uh, this quest over here is entirely optional. But sure, let's do it. Several spin. Oh, okay. I mean, they usually speak Swedish as well. At least a little bit. I mean, usually more than a little bit, actually. Wait, this one gives you another spectral longsword. Oh, shit. Eat. That's pretty huge. Hmm. Shirt of the Void is terrible, though. Terrible Amphrixus. <clears throat> you can buy more Spectral Longswords, actually, at the vendor, though. In Blood Grove. No, it's two ends. Two ends is correct. It's fucking weird. I mean, finish is pretty weird. I can tell you that as well. <laughs> it's, it's it's not the easiest language. It's one of the hardest, rather. That one is definitely harder than English, from my experience. Uh, we gotta kill Bolvar, we gotta find the farmers. We gotta find five Black Legion insignias. What else? Wait, I don't have the insignia quest? The fuck? Okay, we have two now. Two out of five. Three out of five? Okay, where's Bolvar? He's gonna shoot me with his weapon pool skills again and... I'm gonna cry. But then again, this time it's normal, so it's not gonna be that bad. Hmm, Catonians. Olaid Dancer's Talisman. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, three out of five still, right? Three out of five, where's Bolvar? Uh, shit, I should like learn the spawn locations after like seven thousand dollars, maybe? Maybe? Hello? There he is. Dude, what the fuck, Bolivar is like not okay, dude. <laughs> this is normal, this is not veteran. Holy shit. Hellfire of Alacrity and Tyrants of... Dude, what? He is not okay. They gave him a new weapon pool skill and they made him like always equipped two pistols now. So he's kind of like the Chaos version of Rutnik now. It's crazy. I mean, okay, I've only 25 rests, but it's like fucking normal, dude. 
You shouldn't need any rest moment at all, kinda. Ah, yeah, that's crazy. Problem. I mean... I kinda like that he's hard. But I'm sure people are gonna complain about him, like, holy fuck. He's like way harder than Zarya now. I mean, Zarya's kinda gimmicky, you just kill the crystals and then she's nothing. I need one more flip and mm, seed of binding is nice too, I guess, but I kinda need a... Dude, where the fuck are they? I should've picked up the quest and see like the quest icons, the stars. What am I doing? Instead of four, what the hell? I guess I'm coming back for one more insignia later, maybe. Kind of embarrassing, but I... He's almost like Chase. I mean, let's not go too far. Chase was on another level. <laughs> Chase, Chase was uh, way different. Chase was very different. Let's not lean ourselves too far out of the window. What's a new class does to it next year to Nightblade? I mean, it's gonna make it more fun, hopefully. We'll see, we'll see. End game setup. Mm. I mean, there's no real end game setup here, but there's like level 100 budget setups. Since this is a like budget fresh start build, either Saboteur or Reaper. I don't quite know what I'm gonna play to be honest. Uh, but yeah, either or. I'm mostly playing to just like test the patch a bit. So right now I'm just like playing kind of like standard map played stuff, code map played. Nothing too fancy.
There's still debuffs like these as well. Reducing max stress. Fucking oppressor auras. Oppressors are still like insanely scary. I mean, always have been and always will be, probably. They are very scary. Gotta respect those Catonians. I mean, you can just also kill Zarya before she spawns crystals. <laughs> uh, let's get the attribute point from Minova. Should speak to the guys in. Homestead real quick and I should get the quest with the insignias because I only found four and I can't find the other ones because I'm blind so I kind of want to just grab the marker. I had no idea why I didn't talk to this guy. Oops. Swamp Dwellers, 52 Poison Rust. Decent armor, not too bad actually. I mean, it's a higher level base, which is why it's like 5% more, like plus 5 damage, but. Mm, that's, that's still a lot of more damage, right? I just picked this one, it's fine. Honestly, two piece marauder. Wait, uh, it's like if you're playing a saboteur, it's kind of okay, actually. Kind of. Of the honor guard is also attack speed. Hmm. No Chaos Rust. I do need Chaos Rust right now, to be honest. This is Aether and Chaos Rust. Warding of Dancing Shadows. Uh, what? See you I need to be respected with Homestead. Or rovers for a like for an acceptable component for my helmet, otherwise they all are just bad, right? I'll put like two more points here for us. Than one here. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome, welcome, Drone Zero. Okay, what do I go for next after Murmur? Okay, do I play Reaper or Sabo, guys? Reaper or Sabo? I mean, Reaper won, but I also like died in Reaper Watts. But then again, he wasn't even a Reaper. He was still only a Nightblade. And I died because I'm like full Pega. I don't know. 
I mean, up to here, it's like just you play this on every night blade. And then from here on out, like it would kind of depend on like if you're playing Reaper or Sabo. I mean, I guess you could always go for Blizzard next. That also always works. You could also always go for Turtle next on Hardcore. Just make pets already, maybe next year. Pets? What? Pets? Sabo, Greater Reaper. I mean, they're both honestly really, really good nowadays. Sabo was actually a bit better endgame, because it's tankier. Okay, there's one over here. Oh, did I miss that? Reaper... I mean, Reaper is fine too. Isn't Sabo more caster? No, not at all. You can play dual wield melee Sabo as well. Like the best Sabo is dual wield melee as well. Uh, let's go here. Let's grab the shrine as well. I have how many? Seven, yeah, that's enough. I need three for the quest. And one for the shrine, so that's definitely enough. Didn't market our blades get buffed? I think so. Yeah, uh, maybe I should play Reaper. Not sure. May the light of I mean, both are fun. Both are night blades. Night blades are always fun. And I think, like, for cold damage, the things like Sabo has actually more builds than just cold dual wield, I feel like. Whereas Reaper. And Reaper also has more than just Cold Dual Wield as builds, but as a like fresh start, I feel like only Cold Dual Wield really works. Everything else is kind of trash. Whereas for Sabo, you can do mm, other things actually as well, decently. So maybe it's Reaper yet again. Let's play another Reaper here. Uh, so, Reaper, 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 but like, it's no... Hmm. I have not turtle on this devotion page, right? It's kind of... kind of sketch. Like, no turtle on hardcore is just kind of trolling, I feel like right now it's still insanely strong, right? This is not even League turtle, this is vanilla turtle, so it's even stronger. Uh, Reaper easier to build, is it? I mean, Savo is not hard to build either, really, to make it work. Just need, like, number Deus horns, and that's it. And Gale Slances offhand, uh, metal, rather. It's not that hard, either. Okay, what if I adjust this real quick? Uh, to have turtle in there, if I want, if I want turtle. If I want turtle, then I have to... Say I play it like this, then what? And you play Viper. You could just play it like this, no ultos. Or you just remove Blizzard completely and play ultos instead of Blizzard. But is that actually good? I don't know, like Blizzard is so nice as well. I don't know, man. Like, Blizzard is so good. It's like Turtle instead of Blizzard. Oh. 
could also do this and then no 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 that's not good it doesn't make any sense this could work but it's so like affinity inefficient in a way with like reds and blues it's kind of okay what if i remove jackal hot take but then like attack speed is trash right yeah attack speed is already kind of bad okay what if we remove quilts terrible devotion in a way and then we play spooder for attack speed we play uh, jackal for attack speed we don't need viper and we can play something like a wraith for blues and purples but we also need one more red hmm what if you don't play eel? Maniac will build off of the Cabal in 28 kills. That's not too bad. It's kind of lucky. Or I guess with the new drop chances, maybe that's average even. I don't know. Doesn't sound too bad at least. Nah, you just can't fit this in, right? You just can't. No, 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 no. At least if you play with this as well. Is it even that good? Like, it's fucking cold damage, lightning damage, I mean. The Viathan with a flat cold. Uh, shit. Maybe you play u ball after all. Just not the active. You good night, Shy. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. We just like generally pick up more attack speed. Dude, the blues are always so awkward. Why? Why do they have to be so awkward all the time? No, it's one red too many, like fucking... What the hell, man? Hmm. It's like one missing here, one missing here. I don't know, man. Wait, what about Chariot? But then you remove greens, and removing greens means removing spider, and removing spider means removing attack speed, unless you remove toad, actually. Wait. Well, you need way more purple now. You need, like, Wolverine now. And then you still need four more blue. Mm. Have you played a Cold Night Blade recently, Renan? What is your favorite setup? <laughs> I need ideas. This is just zero OA and high DA setup. Breaker. 
Mm, breaker plays you golem. Easily. Crab and turtle. They're, they're buffing this one again, by the way. Right? It's actually buffed in this patch. <laughs> and the thing is, if you have turtle, you have two yellow already. And you just need something like Lotus or Panther, yeah, and then Turtle is enabled. I mean, Crab is enabled, rather. And the fucking Leviathan, I mean, as as much as I'd like to pick it, or would like to pick it, it's always purples. The purples are so bad. And the Reaper, I mean, Reaper doesn't need Rugal. Yeah, I mean, Crab and Turtle is just like such a nice setup for hardcore. Okay, let's let's cut this crap here with ultos ultos bultos. Stop with those memes. And instead, wait, you have no wait, you have still sp oh, you have twenty green because of Hugo, right? Yeah, your greens are so good. Like you want spider, you want fox. Yeah. <laughs> Murmur gives like greens as well. Dude, if, if Murmur gave you like purple instead of green, so many more people would play Leviathan. But Murmur is always like already, okay, you need to pick this anyway, right? And it gives you like green and red, and requires green, red, and purple uh, and blue. So you're already like pushed more towards green and red than Leviathan. Okay, I wouldn't need more blues here though. Crab needs four yellow. This is three purple itself, right? Okay, three purple. And then the other thing is like, if you, for example, remove Wolverine, but you get three purple from Crab, then you would need two yellow, three purple, right? Which is usually a combination that you could get from a tier one, but the only tier ones that give purple and yellow are devotions that have an active. There is no purple and yellow that doesn't have an active, and that's always so scuffed man like there's blue yellow here there's like blue yellow here blue yellow here there's like green yellow here why is there no lotus but like with purple instead of green it's that we have assassin's blade which you don't want to pick on anything but physical and pierce oh and blades of nadan i guess as well but i mean uh... Lion. I mean, that's three yellow. That's not two yellow and three purple. But yeah. Like, if you want two yellow... Okay, there's also Scepter. Ah. And there's Typhos. Dude, if Typhos wasn't absolute garbage, I would play Typhos here, right? Like, this devotion page would work so nicely with Typhos. This would actually like fit perfectly well, like affinity and devotion point wise. But then you look at the nodes and it's like What the fuck? It's fizz and stats. I mean, okay. Bleed and poison dress is like useless. 20 DA is like useless. 20 OA is fine. 6% HP is fine. The crit damage is okay, I guess. I don't know, like it's... The fill dress is nice, sure. It's 6 points as well, though. Like 6 nodes for all of those. I don't know. Like, Jared is way better for World the Player. If Typhos just gave you like more OA, like something that cannot be abused by pet builds, like OA for example, then I think Typhos would be in a good point, like in a good stat, uh, like in a good state rather. Mm -hmm. I 
I mean, okay, we could try Typhus. I don't think Typhus gives you enough away, though. That's the problem. If you're willing to play Red for Affinity but not Typhus, you're trolling. I mean, Red is a tier 1, though. Red is only 4 points. This is 6 points. And Red actually gives you, like, Cunning and Spirit as well. Like, it gives you more Cunning and Spirit than this thing gives you OA. Like, what? Like, pointing out Red is actually a good way to, to like, highlight how bad Typhus actually is, I think. That wasn't your intention, but... <laughs> I kind of feel like that actually shows just how bad it is. You might want to remove Crossroads and Crown. Okay, and done. So you use five pointers for requirements. I'm using a five pointer and I'm using a six pointer. What do you mean? Huh? I understand what you mean, but in this specific example, I don't think it works the way you describe. Like, it works if you remove Typhus and Turtle, but I mean, you wanna play Turtle, right? Sure, I can give you a link. You can check it out. Ulzard. Uh, this also seems like such bad value. Anyway, we're just gonna pick Turtle next, because it is hardcore. And uh, imagine dying on hardcore, right? Who would ever die on hardcore? <clears throat> Let's go and kill Karoz. Whee! by Sunder. Dude, I wish it was Sunder. It wasn't even Sunder. I need to make sure I get more Chaos and uh, Aether Rest this time properly. Like, I'm not playing Last Epoch where resistances don't matter. In this game, they actually do matter. don't need rest when you just one shot stuff. I guess. Dude, why are these items so broken? All special longs are so broken. I don't know if I even wanna like play Markadars, man. Like long swords are just the camera movement, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's sort of problem. Uh, the long swords are pretty, pretty broken.
No Gears, you know. Ah, I got it. Understood what you meant. Dizzy? What do you mean you get dizzy from this? That ballerina hop? Yeah, it's a little weird. I need to work on the animation and the sound effect and everything about it. I mean, it's not completely terrible, but uh, it could be better for sure. New movement skills are so good. I what? You can also dodge with controller, yeah. That will... I think it's actually bugged right now, because on controller for some reason you need a target. But eventually it will work. Not sure if actually better. Uh, so Panther for the yellow. Wait, what did I use for blue? Oh yeah, Viper. I just no Viper. Hmm. Oh wait, I didn't have Blizzard in mind. Wait, what? Why would I not have Blizzard? <laughs> yeah, like that's the thing, right? Like if you have Typhus, you have no Blizzard, like... LOL. There's also no Spider there, but yeah, I guess... It is what it is. Uh, you would pick Toad over Quill though. Pretty sure. But yeah, that's like, I mean, yeah. As I said, like you never pick Typhus, kind of. It's just it's bad. It's good for pet builds, otherwise it's just bad. Yeah, quill better early, toad better late. Yep. I agree there. Quill is also better on casters late, of course, but not on a build that can make use of leech. But like, attack speed is gonna suck so hard, man. Like, it's so low. I guess you just get up alacrity on weapons and it's done, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just pick alacrity on weapons and easy. Don't think you need attack speed badly. I mean... You need like 200%, right? But yeah, you will get enough from like gear and so on. Should be fine. Yo, Sarlog, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Keep in mind, this is still a rather early patch of 1.2. A playtesting patch. Second update though, which dropped like uh, Saturday morning. Friday nights. Okay, do we go and die to the one totem again and <laughs> the tomb? Let's try not to the sun. Let's try not to.
Open totem. Open portal first of all. Death, yep. Dude, the game's gonna be actually hard with Sunder though, like I'm gonna tell you man, like it's gonna be a lot a lot rippier. I like it, I like it. I like it. Zentai's answer to any slight animation change ever. When animation costs like one million dollars, we are not gonna make animation just for cosmetic reasons. I mean, come on. He didn't actually say that. I mean, you're obviously like talking out of your ass a bit again, but yeah, he was always very hesitant about like any animations all the time, that's true. Just not it, yeah, true. I mean, just play Ulo. Turtle Ulo, every build. Easy. I mean, I didn't die to the new debuff either. I think that, no, no, the debuff is fine, in my opinion. That's totally fine. Okay, it should do the same totem, same spot. Let's go. Uh, easier mobs this time, though, not the Aether one. Take the shortcut here. Nah, last time was veteran. <laughs> Obviously. Imagine dying in normal, it's like literally impossible. Bangers, you can do the impossible. Die on normal. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> no more veteran. Eh, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I'm new to this game, okay? I can't play on veteran. I'm not a veteran. Oh, it's expensive. Juggernaut. Login. Force wave login. Acid Rata login. Are they nerfing it by the way? I need Death Chill, right? Death Chill is absolutely insane for Reaper. Death Chill Redic is like best slot until 100 pretty much. Maybe even at 100. In some cases for max damage, I think it is actually. Okay, this guy right here, right? Markadar, if you have the quest, make sure you have the quest. Then this guy is gonna drop his sword. 
100% now. We have the trashiest roll you can get. Cool, cool. Unlucky, I guess. That was absolute dog shit. Holy. Okay, we have to reset the game then. And run this one again. How is it so bad? How is it terrible of terrible? Just essence rolled it. Yeah. Right. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Isn't it kind of awkward that the Markadors Blood Blade has physical base damage? Mm, no, all swords have that. That's, that's fine. And the game crashed, I think. It crashed, okay. Actually, that's the first crash for me at 1.2, and it's just like from loading from the menu to the game. Compared to the crashes that I've seen on other people's like streams, this is... This is like totally harmless. All swords are awkward. Nah, it's fine. We're fine. But maybe some affixes like chilled prefix and so on like should have higher conversion. I don't know. Ooh, Alchemist Belt is nice actually. This is really really good to like just fix your poison rust. And it has like a circuit breaker that activates drop when you drop below 20% HP. Which is very 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 low to be fair, but still pretty nice. Clerics of the Eagle. Stun Rust, Pierce Rust. Lose plus two, nice chill. I mean. Hmm. The other problem is, though, I also have this belt, which is also basically pure poison rust. Do I need respected or friendly? Respected, right? To buy these. Uh, where can I get the Nightblade one again? It's Black Legion. Have I thought, uh, shared my thoughts on 1.2 yet? Mm, I did today, uh, at the start of the stream actually. I'm gonna upload those to YouTube. You hate one drive? We can change. We can go to GitHub again if you want. <laughs> wow, what happened? Doesn't allow you to block the archive build from being uploaded. Wait, Hawk does that all the time. I think. You can ask Hawk how he does it. Hawk blocks them all the time. Pretty sure. Or maybe he just disconnects it. I don't know. <laughs> Wait, wait, no, you can also... Uh, can't you, like, put exceptions, or is that only for folders?
Oh, das fuckt er da. F, Yikes. I mean, let me know if you wanna swap to some other platform. Alright, we just zoom to the boss. Nothing else that we need to do here really. Just get that item. With hopefully good rolls this time. You know what I hate? When you pause the game, you can't like check the debuffs on the enemy. You know? Would be nice if you could. But you can't. Hmm. I mean, it's better than this one, I would argue. I could farm for one more. It's not the best roll, to be honest. What are those big cooler numbers on skulls? Those are optional... Like an, like an option you can trigger now. Optional display over here, cooler counter. This is a new feature coming with 1.2. And then via a rainbow filter you can adjust the color of them as well. By default they are, I think, white, then yellow, then red. The lower the number, I change it to be white when it's over one minute, red between one minute and what is this like 10 seconds? Then it becomes yellow at eight, seven, six, five, four. It's green, three. Yeah, yeah. that's like white, red, uh, yellow, green now for me. But I change these to be like that, they're not like that by default. Uh, is that actually quicker from this side? I don't know. There's a totem on this side, though. You generally don't want to farm too much normal, because it's not really worth, but if you're farming something like the sword, then that's fine. Like, if you need it as your main weapon for your build, then it's fine. Otherwise, generally, farming on normal is just a waste of time, because the drop rates are, compared to Elite and Ultimate, just bad. You just wanna get through the story and level, and then make your character strong enough to get to Ultimate, and then start farming. Yeah, potions are basically skills now, that you always have as like baseline skills. They still have a cooldown of course, and uh, yeah, no need to collect or buy or pick up potions anymore. Yeah. My current weapon has physical to fire. Okay, this one is actually Aether this time, I think. Fuck, who killed him though? Just bursted him down. Okay. 
Uh, the, these totems, these like skeletal giants are honestly kind of sketchy. They are quite the annoying enemy. Yeah? You fight at all points, to be honest. I mean, I would need physical to cold, right? Like, basically, um, Shield of Alacrity is a double magic one I need. Infernal is a green, a rare prefix, but it's fire based, so it's not that good. It does have Alacrity suffix, though, at least. So, attack speed, that's nice. Still no multi class? Mm, nah, I usually go like 50 in my first main class and then start with the multi class. But you can uh, go into the second mastery earlier, depends on like the build you're doing. There we go, chill prefix, but soul warding suffix, which is. I don't know, something bad? I mean, it's still better than the other one. I guess, wait, Alacrity... Alacrity might be better, better though. Because you get so much flat from Lethal Assault. Right, if you look at, at it like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now it's a, like, non shadow strike based character though, which would mean that I... I mean, I need to get to execution. With these weapons, you need execution. So you gotta rush for this ability over here. So we need to pull points for shadow strike again. And here, and then just like... Yeah, get to execution. There we go. And then these swords are like actually really good. But I I, uh, I need to get like different rolls. These rolls are still terrible, kind of. So I guess we go again. Gotta go again. Are they better than Shell Stripes? Mm, I think on Reaper they are better than Shell Stripes, yeah. They kind of changed Shell Stripes to be a bit more caster oriented. But Shell Stripes are still really good. Even for non casters. Can you please tend Zantai to make the game utilize more than 1.5 cores? This, this is an old game. It's just old. I mean, they changed uh, the engine a lot, but the original version of this engine is from Titan Quest, so like 20 years old, pretty much. Gonna burst on the corrupted one, we have no Aetherus. Holy the damage, oh my fucking god, dude. Uh, Gargantians are just crazy.
Hallo. Dude, what are these rolls and canters of spines? How is it so bad? The fuck? Oh my god, dude. Yikes. That was absolute dog shit. At least, when you reset the game now, you do not have to reapply your box anymore. That is actually such a big quality of life. Summon your pets for you, no. Fuck pets. So I got seven guardians. I guess you're not like completely getting rid of the second bar. No, that was deceased, it's not corrupted. Only a poison damage, no aether damage. Uh, up the elements again. Come on, come on. I mean, at least a frostbite, I guess. It's so fucking bad. What is this garbage? Uh, how hard does it to get like chilled of electricity or like chilled of frostbite? It can't be that hard. Yeah, it's just trash again. They even buffed smart affix with this patch. I'm just unlucky. Smart affixes? Yeah, kinda. I mean, they're called... Um, I mean, they're not really called anything in this game, but it's... You could say, like, there's affinity. Like, a cold base item is more likely to roll cold affixes, because it has, like, kind of, like, cold affinity in its drop table. Affix bias, yeah. That's maybe even better.
And yet I'm getting only garbage. Oh well. Corrupted, could have corrupted. Yes, okay. I could also just like skip the sky, right? Like, why am I doing this totem? I don't know why I'm doing this totem. I had some blueprints, I guess. You kind of always want to like do totems for blueprints. They're never like bad to do. It's never a mistake to do them. Okay, that's actually insanely good. Shield of Shattering is very, very good. Shattering is a rare cold suffix. So this is giga good. Um, yeah, I just need one more. Because my current ones are both kind of terrible, to be honest. New patch when? Probably end of October, I would assume. Like in one month. Uh, everybody can play, yes. You need to go to the forums, into the playtesting section, get the key from the playtesting fuck, then enter that key uh, in Steam. If you don't have Steam, it doesn't work though. If you have the game on GOG, then I have bad news for you. And then you can select the the playtesting branch. Well, the, the frequently asked questions left the FAQ, right? The fuck? <laughs> Is that not how you say it? I don't know. The fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> wait, wait, how do you pronounce that? It's like literally the same pronunciation, right? <laughs> ask you? Ask you what? Fuck you? I mean, what? Sorry. Ask you what? Frequently ask you what? FAQ. I see. I see, I see. Uh. <clears throat> YouTube? Ah, YouTube is fine. Surely. Oh, what the fuck is this? What, 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 what the FAQ is this, dude? Sunday anxiety. Gotta go to bed. All right, man. Good night, good night. 
We're gonna get the, another usable sword eventually and then just kill the Gorian real quick and that's probably gonna be it for this episode slash stream slash whatever you wanna call it as well. Uh, but I mean, it could take like another hour to get a good sword here, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. At least we're getting some XP even though it's like normal kind of scuffed XP, but... But I... Watching Drop at Brame's stream, they were discussing Unity, is scary. At least it drops all the time now, true. Very true, very true indeed. So what's going on with Unity then? Reflector, Monka. Dude, I could just use a, a chilled Spectra Battle Axe to be honest. It's also pretty good. Like, unironically, kinda good as well. Okay, we can finish this run, maybe get a good one. If not, we're just gonna use the axe, that's fine too. This one is so bad, what the fuck? Perdition shoulder guards, yeah. My, my current shoulder guards are like level 7, so I should probably upgrade at some point. They do have like the juicy lethal assault bonus though. Frostborn or Frostbite? Okay, log in. Log in, dude. Level 41. Oh. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna, gonna use the, the axe for now. The axe for now, the other thing later. Wait, it's still worse? How? How is it worse than bow? Oh, because of the attack speed? Like the base, like it has 1.95 base. Marco Darts has 1.99 base. Allo, allo, bother, welcome in. I mean, I guess we have two good swords out of 40 plus now. Don't need anything else, I guess it's fine. Uh, except maybe like shoulders at some point, right? Why am I selling everything without looking at anything? Seventy-five chaos rust at least. These give base base chaos rust, right? Based, based chaos rust. Nice. All right, time to kill Lucius with like one Aetheras. Let's go. 
Oh wait, no, we need to go back to Captain Summer first. And then the quest. And then... And then we can kill Lucius. Why do you have such a grim look on your face? Let's see. I've already... You're here. How hard is it to avoid Sunder debuff? That depends a lot on the mob that applies Sunder on you. Some have really nice and good to see, like easy to see and easy to spot abilities that you can like dodge nicely. Some others, not so much. Um, and I hope they're gonna change the ones that are not so much a bit more. Because, uh, yeah, kinda sucks a bit. Or maybe it's just a skill issue, I don't know. New Grim Dawn DLC coming. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, actually happening. It is actually happening. It did indeed, yeah. It did indeed. Yet here we are. Taking us all by surprise. I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't know about that. Okay, that one is Thunder. Which one is it? The, the... Okay, not this one. I don't want to test that one either. Uh, oh fuck. It was the... It, the, the the cannons, right? Like the the balls he's shooting, right? The aether balls from his cannon. There was a blind a blind thunder. Another cluster that's really lucky, actually. Very nice. Mm, so I kind of want to make sure execution has a very high chance to be procced because, well, these items are insane for execution. But they're also just as insane for the for this one, right? Necrotic Edge, which is 15 points deep. 15 points is another, what, like, 5 levels to get to. And I can't really afford to pull anything out of here and either way, like, otherwise. Um, <clears throat> I have pretty much 
all skills only one pointed except for lethal assault, which I do need max. And this one soft capped and this one maxed. So there isn't really any points to pull here. But yeah, 21% chance to be used at least. Next point does not give me an increase of the chance. So we're gonna skip that. And I think it's finally time to put a point in Necromancer now. Let's go. Officially a Reaper at level 38 now. Uh, for fresh start, yes, I would go through all the expansions on normal, then elite, I just rush Logorian and then I go to ultimate. Uh, that way you unlock all the factions and you start gaining reputation with them when you kill monsters as well. Otherwise it's a bit, like, hard to... Or like a bit slower to get the factions to revere an ultimate. So that's like basically why I'm usually doing it like that. I mean, you can do it differently, but I think that's generally one of, if not the best way to do it. The best like smooth progression all around, I would say. If you just want to rush the level, there are quicker ways to do that, right? You just want to like get to ultimate ASAP, basically. But then you also will have no reputation with the expansion factions whatsoever. Which can be fine. But for a first character, I, I don't know. I don't like it too much. Just do bounties on normal. Yeah, don't ever do bounties on anything except for maybe elite or I don't know. Like, bounties on normal are so bad. They give like so little reputation, it's terrible. I mean the entire bounty system is just... I need to ask Zenta if he plans to revamp them for Fangs of Astakar. Otherwise I want to do it myself. Because they are so bad. <laughs> Yeah, Nigel. I died to hop. <laughs> not using hop and not using cluster. And being rusty. Yeah, like it's literally faster to, to, to kill two bosses than to do the bounty. <laughs> like, it's so stupid. Go back to Arikan and then we kill Logarion. The jump looks cool. Uh, it looks a little goofy, I think. I think it needs some polishing. I don't know. I, I think it works in a way, but also it, 
He's a little unpolished, I think, still. I don't know. But it's generally nice to have more movement options in a game that is otherwise known to be rather slow. So with this, Grim Dawn really is getting the zoomies a little bit at least. It's still like nowhere close to Path of Exile, and I would never want it to be that zoomy either, personally, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, It is going a little bit in a zoomy direction, which is, to be honest, fine. Like, Rondon is slow enough on its own that it can be fine with some additional zoom. Uh, 150% would be cool. I don't know about that. It would trivialize the game too much. There are actually there are actually ways to buff your max movement speed temporarily now though. For example, all the shrines in SR they have they give you like a max movement speed buff, you know. So you can get more max movement speed if you get the shrine in SR now, for example. Um, there are also some mutators actually. I think there's one for the player that also actually increases your maximum movement speed now as well. So yeah, there there are some some there's some more speed they are gonna stick with the 135 percent max movement speed and honestly i don't blame them like i think it just the game is designed around that and i think it's good like that but having like temporary max movement speed buffs or like mutators maybe that do that is fine i think Another 35 feels so bad when your class gets a lot naturally. Mm, I mean, it opens up slots for other things than usually. I don't think like movement speed is ever really wasted. I mean, not games, but like this game is. <laughs> not games, but this one is. Dude, the increase to the Nightblade's animations for his weapon pull skills is also pretty sick, to be honest. Feels so fluent. I mean, Nightblade always felt fluent, but like now it's even zoomier. Everything is faster than Ingram Dawn, that's not really true though. If you can't like all the movement skills and so on and so on on top. I don't know, like if monsters were also limited, the game would be so fucking boring, I don't know. It would be just a snooze fest, like so easy and... I think it's fine for monsters to have like more speed than you in certain cases. Like more base speed at least, or like more buffs, like speed with buffs. Because you can reposition like skills, even as ranged. And they actually did nerf like some of the charge, the charge speed on like chargers, right? That one is actually slower. And they also nerfed when he goes uh, like base movement speed a bit. They're also a little bit slower now. They were also like, I mean, they were like pretty much the fastest mob in the game before, so yeah. Warranted. <laughs> Range builds? I mean. I 
I do have a double rare, by the way, that I can show up real quick for the effect. And you can see, like, blues have, like, a small... Uh, what's it called? Like, loot, loot thingy, also, like, an icon on the map. Obviously, blues have that too, and also, then, like, double rare apex greens have that too. Every build reaches 135. That's not quite true, but most do, yes. Also, every MI has a icon. The one here at the front. I kind of wish they would just give it a different color, because like you don't see a difference in the stash, like in the bag. But yeah, I had a triple, sh a triple rare Shambler's Heart earlier, which I actually sold because it's like, well, bad for this class and low level. But I should have kept it actually to like show off the beams and the sound, the drop sound it also makes when it drops. But maybe we're gonna get another one at some point, like another double rare at least. Probably not triple rare anytime soon, but maybe double at least. We'll see. And hot dash it out. No items, what is this? Oh yeah, they, they nerfed uh, overall drop chance of items by like 50%, by like 30 to 60%, I think, depending on like the type and so on. Which is good in my opinion, like less clutter. You have better quality loot though. Um, no, bosses Bosses have their drop chances increased to 100%. So every time you kill a boss that has a monster frequent, that boss will always drop his monster frequent. For example, Bolvar always drops his amulet and also always dual wields pistols now that he also drops, both of them. And also on top of that, Bolvar has a weapon pool skill now, so that's, uh, he's kind of fucking scary. He's like actually OP, I think. Um... What else is there? I mean, if you want to know what else is new in this patch, there is like options to make your health bars bigger, there's options to, well, auto loot radius can be increased a lot, that's like higher auto loot radius now than Grim Eternals even. Uh, you can remove fog if you want, you can uh, remove day and night cycle if you want, you can, um, well arcanes don't remove your buffs anymore, they just disable them for 5 seconds, so you don't have to reapply them. Your buffs always apply by themselves, right? You see the cold stone here? You see the buffs here? I just equipped the item. Boom, there it is. It auto-equips. It auto auto, uh, so, like, you... If you uh, reset your game to farm an item, you don't have to, like... I have not a single aura here. It just instantly gives you the auras. Just like that. Uh, what else is there? There is, uh, well, this evade, right? Diablo 4 dodge roll, basically, in a way. There is Sunder, a new debuff mechanic that makes you take more damage and there's nothing you can do against it. But to compensate, resistance reduction has been overall heavily reduced on enemies, or removed even. So overcap is less important now. Oh, it still exists, as you can see here, right? Like, I still have like a debuff here, Bloodsworn Curse. If it, if it goes, if it fades, yeah, like it's still like 15% RR or 20, something like that. So there is still a resistance reduction in the game, but it's like very rare now. Like way less rare than before. And there is Sunder on top, which is like, well, a multiplicative buff that you, a debuff rather, against which you cannot just use resistances. So in a way, the game got harder or like rippier because of Sunder. Yep, there's some Sunder here. What is this? Oh shit, uh, I need to fix my... <laughs> I don't see like by how much it actually makes me take more damage. Because I have to fix my uh, my uh, loot filter, my rainbow filter. 
Oops. Usually the enemy will glow yellow in a way when it applies that thunder. I didn't really see it for Log though, but maybe I was blind. For example, Mogara. I can show you Mogara. Like it's very easy to notice with her. She has like this attack with her with her tail, right? And those attacks are also like slowed down a lot now. Like they're slower and easier to evade. So it's kind of like supposed to be a bit like Grim Souls, right? You the enemy does the attack and then you use your evade. That's like the idea, I guess, at least. Alright, we can go real quick to Mugara here. Check it out real quick. Oh yeah, also there's no more pots. Uh, you just have potion, like health potion and energy potion as a skill, as a baseline skill from level 1. And there's no more potions that you have to pick up and so on, so there's no more clutter with potions. But yeah, I talked about all the changes at the start of the stream, and I'm gonna upload that on YouTube. So you can check it out as well. Right? I just put a point in Spectral Binding, boom, it's there in the bar. Okay, Mogara. Uh, let's clear the trash real quick, then we, then we can like look at her better. Okay, so... Okay, that's not the attack, that's the attack, right? You see how like her tail like glows yellow, big, big time there. And then you get sundered, right? And then you have like this debuff. And you take like multiplicative percent more damage. I just don't know how much right now because I can't, you know, but yeah. But yeah, you can also like use this evade, as I just did. You can evade through the enemy, because it works just like uh, dodge rolls in Dark Souls. They have like it this has iframes. So you can like evade into the enemy as well. Because of iframes, yep. Pretty cool. They just need to like polish it. I think it's a bit clunky right now still, but the idea is really cool. Really, really cool. You've reached so I great. Good, you're back. I struggle with you. You see the luminary have long. Excuse my father and I were. Okay, we can equip one of these now. Chilled of Shattering, and we have a Frostbone of Frostbite. Okay, let's go. So we should have gotten one Legendary from this guy, right? Also Lagorian Shoulders. Yeah, we're gonna use these instead of like my level 7 Shoulders now, finally. Okay, so let's see how the drop sound feels like for Legendaries. Okay, loot beam. Oh yeah, actually if you hide the item, it also hides the loot beam. That's cool. It's very nice against clutter. Oops. And you have uh, an icon on the map. This one right here. You can even hover over it, and then you will see the name of the item. The upgraded graphics, uh, they polished some rocks. Yep, rock. They are polishing rocks. I have like zero eight the rest, right? Please don't die. Okay. And a serious Pantsu of Reptilian Resilience. Actually, not bad at all. Yeah, we're gonna use this one. All you. 
Okay, let's go and uh, grab components. Uh, actually, I should talk to the guy first. And in the quest. Hundred percent drop rate, exactly. I kind of wanted to end after Logorion, but I kind of feel like going further. To be honest, I don't know why. This game is just good. What can I say? Explorers, dude, my, item, my items are so bad at this point, to be honest. I could really just die again. I don't want to die again, though. My well, mental rust is terrible. Okay, I need runestone. I have 9% aether rest. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, I need runestone from... Who is it? Rovers? Respect it. Oh my god, okay, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Let's go. Back to NA hours. I don't know about that. Okay, uh, where's runestone? Wraith is needed, this one is trash, runestone, the rest is remains also great, okay. Sure. I mean, Mark of Mogjogan isn't trash, but like... It's very situational. <laughs> Looks like a reddit build at this point. Uh, not, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Runestone. Uh, yeah, right. Polished emerald build, let's go. Okay. That's at least something. What about devotions? Five available. What am I doing? When in doubt, turtle out. Just don't get hit? You mean just evade? <laughs> just evade now? Can you recommend the tankiest build? Ah, uh, I mean, hmm. I can show you a build that won last season, I guess. Like, Acid Retaliation Archon with Grasping Vines as main skill. That one is. He got tanky. I mean, in the season there were some, like there was a like a feature where you could put affixes on blues on top, which made it even stronger. But it's also an insanely strong art, like an insanely strong build in vanilla as it is. So I would, I mean, I guess right now on this patch, or like on 1.1.9.8 at least, I don't know if it could be nerfed on this one actually. Suggest you to look up like acid. Retaliation Vines uh, Archon. There's also a Lightning version that's also arguably even better, maybe. Will there be new achievements with the DLC? I mean, definitely, yes, of course. I mean, they're gonna do an entire act, right? They, they said on stream. It's gonna be bigger than Forgotten Gods. So... Yeah. The default is space, yeah. But you can bind it to whatever you want. Okay, for Act 5, you want to make sure you have 80% poison rust, and ideally also, also like 80% elemental rust. I 
have only 75 elemental right now, which is kind of bad. But it'll be fine, I guess, hopefully. We'll see. Broadest metal, yeah. Pixels like I mean, otherwise I would like zero Cerus. I could get Throne though. Throne is pretty nice for Cerus as well. I have enough damage right now anyway. Should probably get Throne next after Turtle. Oh, I actually made the Bramblevine Archon as well at some point. I mean, that one was old and a little bit outdated though. There are probably better versions now. This one was... Yeah, from like three years ago. I mean, it gives you the idea, but... Wait, there, there was a rather recent video... Where I showed Wait. off the builds from the season. Hello and welcome, YouTube. Holy shit, that microphone that was old. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, there's tons of like bottle skate spam here, but this video right here, this video right here, uh, if you expand the the description of the video, you will find whatever you want to look for. There's tons of good builds in there. Which, to be fair, in the league were even stronger because of like affixes and blues and so on, but you can also build it without those affixes and it's still gonna be good. There's probably also a version on the forums, a vanilla Grim Dawn version on the forums that you can also find. Uh, this patch 1.2, um, I would assume like maybe late October or early November, something like that. The Fangs of Astacon expansion though, that's gonna be like the second half of next year I think. That's gonna take way longer. That's gonna take like a year from now. Please just... But yeah, 1.2 is... Kind of like the first preparation patch for the season, I mean for the expansion. Like, most of the tech is being done right now. Like, most of the new tech, like engine side and so on, is being done right now. Uh, in this very moment. For the expansion. Like, without the expansion that's coming next year, we wouldn't have this patch right here. This patch only makes sense with the expansion. What's the new move look like? It looks currently like this. It looks like a... Like some kind of like long jump. Looks a little... I don't know. Like a, like a hop. Yeah. To be honest, like at first I was like, what the fuck is this? It looks so weird. And it still looks kind of weird. But the more you play with it, the more you get used to it, and then you actually start feeling that it's not even that bad. It actually feels okay. But I still think it probably could feel better. Yeah, it, it looks like a Mario jump in a way. Exactly, like they need to polish it, make it look better. Sound maybe also should be better, I don't know. I mean, every single character is gonna jump like that, right? Like, even your 5k armor warlord is gonna jump like that. It, it does look okay on a Nightblade in a way, you're right. But, yeah. Coin sound. I mean, okay, people have made... Where, where is it again? People have made... I can show it again, right? Um, where is it? Where is it? Okay, there it is. Super Mario Dawn gameplay. Here it is. 
People have made this one. They have made a mod where they basically replace the the sound. Right? This is in-game sound now. I mean the music is not, but like the jump sound is in-game. Somebody else made something else or is it uh Can I link it? Uh sure. There's even a download link I think for the sound file and like instructions on how to install it. <laughs> Fuck, was it on Discord? I thought it was also on the forums, where is it? It was on the forums too, right? The the one with the with the color change. Where is it? Oh yeah, here. The Plumber Loyalist Pack. <laughs> you, can, you can use this one and then use the, the sound file together, right? Plumber, plumber Loyalist Pack. There we go. Forty-one. That's time for the other sword as well. Frostborn of Frostbite. Let's go. Log in. Can we time out Niger? We can always time out Niger. use these finally some upgraded list um because of the bone harvest mm -hmm. what the rest of these have pierce rest which rest it does have bleed and trap rest uh, that's a fine trade-off i guess Pierce Rust is more powerful after all. You usually wouldn't want to destroy Explorer trousers or pants though, like you just want to keep them for next character. Okay, we just want to rush Necrotic Edge, because our weapons support that one heavily. Gonna be even more damage.
Reaper, yep, yep. Ripper soon. Whatever it and injures if you seek all good what you I, I don't know about that. It'll be fine. Show stripe. Unlucky. Go batch. All right, man. Thanks for watching. See you around. What's the time? Oh shit! Already like 11 p.m. Holy fuck! I mean, why am I looking over there? There's literally a clock in the game. The new MI icons in the 1.2 update. Yes. You also have loot beams and drop sounds and icons for legendaries that even appear on the map here and here. And you can hover over them and see which item it is. have loot beam and icon but no special drop sound and double double rare fx greens have just like legendaries loot beam icon and drop sound I mean you can rebind it to whatever you want QC you can have dodge roll on I don't know like on anything right this is Grim Dawn it's not Diablo 4 where you can't rebind stuff this is scrimmed on, you can literally rebind everything to anything, right? Yeah, that's totally fine. How significant is this patch alone? If you just started playing Grim Dawn, I don't think you need or should mess around with this playtest, to be honest. Just wait until the patch is actually out. Um, but this patch is... Probably the biggest significant thing that Grim Dawn has gotten the last 
three years, I think. Yeah. Uh, this patch would not exist if, if Grim Dawn wouldn't get a DLC next year. This patch is in preparation for the expansion that's gonna come next year. Like later next year, as in like second half of next year probably. Uh, 1.2, this patch is gonna come out probably like end of October, early November maybe, something like that I assume. We'll see. I mean, as in classic crate fashion, it's ready when it's ready. Uh, I'm gonna drop a portal here. Don't wanna backtrack. We found a harmonious of mending living ring. That's actually pretty nice. I mean, the fucking Vidoth ring is so huge, though. ABB and Necrotic Edge. It's crazy. And the crown layer has attack speed. I mean, harmonious living ring is insane as well, though. And it's like so much better for defense. One of these two rings will have to go, but it'll be hard to decide on them because they're also very good. Uh, even with the expansion, you still probably don't want to go, go vanilla and go high difficulty and then do it later. Why not put ABB on left click? Because I only have a one pointer on ABB and Lethal Assault now lasts 8 seconds. So you really only want to use it now when you need either a bit more AoE or like to reapply the buff. And if you're playing well like an execution build, you have more DPS when you just default attack, right? Instead of like reusing ABB all the time. Even for Cyclone now? Yeah, I, I will never play the Irish. Fuck the Irish, man. The Irish is such a. I don't like the. I mean, the Irish is great if you don't play Our Reckoning. <laughs> I uh, reckoning though is just I don't like it. I rather play Sentinel. I uh, reckoning. Soul Harvest is also eight now. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, deadly momentum from Cadence is five seconds now. Good, you're back. Minion lot on the GG noobs. Yo, Zeppeli. Welcome and welcome on. Thanks for the resub. 15 months already. What do you mean, Minion Lord? Minions get banned in here, and I guess Madly gets. I mean, Zeppeli rather. Gets banned anyway, right? 15 months already, Monka. Good thing you don't play minions. Yeah, you would never do that, right? 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 I mean, it's a bad? No, they're totally fine. They're perfectly fine. I just like to hate on them because I personally don't like the playstyle. They are absolutely fine in this game. They are pretty good. I just hate the playstyle, personally. They aren't fine. Eh. Some of minions got a buff. Yeah, that's why I hate them as well. I mean, like, performance-wise, they are fine, but they're fine because they are they get oversettled because their AI is shit. But then again, AI of all minions and all ARPGs is kind of shit compared to, like, other games, so... Yeah.
And because they are, their AI is shit and they get overstatted, that's kind of why I hate them as well. Uh, yeah. Exactly, that is a change that it should have done, like, a long time ago. Default aggressive stance is, like, way better. Do we find for minions? Uh, because they just aren't that good. I don't know. I mean, they're kind of fine, I guess. Some are good, yeah. Grimdon 2 when? Uh, if I had to guess, probably like in 6 or 7 years from now. Like, no joke. See anything you like? Uh, where's the living ring? Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. This is all trash, right? Kinda. Kinda, kinda, kinda trash. Zolhands. Actually, Zolhands is okay. It's physical damage based and pierce, but it has just like way more armor. And at least it has some resistances. My current one is so squish. I feel like I have to change it at some point. It's just too rippy in hardcore. To run around with a chest that has like no res. It's way too rippy. Chill surge yeah. of zeal. That's total speed. It's not too bad. And the apothecary does what again? Bleed us. Uh, no, we don't. We have enough good rings. Ideally, we get like a plus one Nightblade belt and a plus one Nightblade amulet. But Elena is like pretty much elite or higher. You don't get to honor that easily in, in normal whatever's crossing. Like, you just don't get to honor it with anybody, honestly, in base game. It's just scuffed. Suggestions on how to fast level Perdition Retail Asset Vines Archon? Uh, maybe Poison Ages or something like that? I guess that's better in the, in the mod. In vanilla, Archon leveling, I guess. Yeah, Savagery Maze is fine. Grasping Vines. And Grasping Vines kinda is okay early and then like just falls off because there's no items for it in the base game, right? And then it's like good again later when you have the items, but until end game there's like no items for Grasping Vines, is there? Oh wait, no, there's like, there's uh, an offhand for Grasping Vines, right? You could play like, also the Grasping Vines probably. Oh, Death Ward is nice as well. Plus one to Necro, and like another cheat death ability in a way. Defy death. That's not the worst one. I guess I'll take this one. It's fine. I mean, plus one Necro is literally like just plus one to Spectral Binding right now, but... Yeah, it will be more useful later. A couple of levels when I get like the... Necrotic Edge and like Illumin and like a one-pointer in Spectral Wrath as well. Dude, in the league there's like 5 billion ways to level Archon, I feel like. But in vanilla, vanilla like Archon really has nothing. Compared to, you know, other classes. I 
I mean, you can play Lightning Archon. You can like play other like non-asset Archons as well. I mean, I guess Savage Reef as it could also be. Yeah, like you could play like Trozen. Ah, uh, not Trozen. Like Wind Devil Totem, as you said. Like just Lightning Archon. That's fine. Or wait, no, Lightning Cutter Stores Inquisitor, obviously. Dude, there's nothing. It's either yeah, it's just awkward. Archon is actually great end game, but so bad for leveling in, in the base game. Black screen problem, I have no idea. I have also never gotten a black screen myself, so I cannot comment on that unfortunately. No idea. No clue. Sorry. I've never gotten a black screen on the last patch, I've never gotten a black screen on this patch. I have no idea if they have fixed black screen problems. No idea, no idea, no idea. The pickup radius feels like hacking, dude. It's it's so big. I feel like they could have made it a bit smaller and it would be still totally fine. But this is this is kind of ridiculous. I mean, uh, uh, you get used to it and it feels definitely better than before. But it's so big, dude. Like holy shit, it, it's a little weird. Okay, we did those two quests, but if we can do another quest in advance, which is kill six of these pit creepers. They're like the greenish crabs, like these here. Kind of hard to see, to be honest, but they're a bit more green than the rest. You gotta kill six of them, so make sure to kill at least six, otherwise uh, the quest will be scuffed and you will have to reload your game, because even if you kill only... Like, if you kill, for example, four, it will reset your counter to zero. You have to kill six again, and then if you kill four, and you have to kill another six, then this mine is not going to have another six for you left. So you would have to reset the game. And that just feels bad, so make sure to always kill six the first time you go here at least. Like at least six. There's I think like eight or ten in the mine. I think there's eight usually. So you want to make sure to check out this location over here, for example. The rest still sucks, right? 32%. Yep. Okay. Let's go back to Better Home, hand in all the quests. Haven't had a Grim Dawn black screen for quite some time. Much more common in multiplayer. Did you play 1.2 though, Megafer? It was only a problem with 1.2, I think, in this new patch. Like 1.198 is obviously like stable and polished as a. As the new rocks are, I guess, as well. Hmm. Mantle, mantle of the Weeping Eye. It's 
not bad, but Lagorian shoulder is just so good. Flash Hulk, Maven Sweat. Hmm. I don't think there's like any crash or any scream that happens in 1198 ever. Like 1198 is just super stable. I am so, I am there we've always had. Okay, kill Laria real quick. You can also not kill her and get a free Wendigo uh like Wendigo spirit. However, if you kill her, you have a chance to get a chill drive, and a chill drive can potentially be also great for this character so we're gonna actually kill laria on this one um that said probably on reaper there is nothing that beats Markadar really if you're playing another code nightblade that is not a reaper then sure strive is arguably better than Markadar's. storm strike oh well unlucky Just don't play multiplayer. Yeah, or that, I guess. <laughs> Was there a change to Stress Str Strife? Uh, not in this patch, no. It got, like, nerfed for non casters, I think, a while ago. The, the HP is insane on this, isn't it? Actually, this one also has, has HP. Hmm. But the rest, all those rests. It's pretty good. Okay. Uh, and then we also use this one, right? And we put the ward stone back. We lose plus two to noise chill, but I mean, that's. Fine. Okay, I wanna respec a little bit here, maybe. Get some points for the weapon pool skill. What is doing the filter naming of items these days? Uh, rainbow filters, though. However, with this patch, you also have like blue loot beams and stuff like that, like icons on the map and so on. But the, the different colors. On the items is the rainbow filter still. Icon on the map, loot beam, sound for legendaries. Same for like triple, I mean double rares. Uh, oh yeah, I have to respec in the other area. Oops. What do I put here? Maybe this actually. Sure. The item filter was always called rainbow filter. That has always been the same. Uh, what you might be thinking about is maybe like GT stash or Grindon item assistant. Those were tools for uh, like for stash, for more stash space and so on. But for like Recoloring items and so on was always the item filter, the rainbow filter. What troubles you? Safe journey. Dude, 11 points with one point. Holy shit. Okay, let's go. Okay, uh, what am I gonna go for next? We got the turtle. I could like grab those, right? Sure. Remove one point here to get instantly. Actually, I could even remove two. And then next, I wanted to go for what? I gotta go for uh, Ellie Storm. What am I doing? Okay, let's grab those first. 
put it on... Hmm. Actually, I think I want to put it on spirits. Grab the spirits. Activate spirits, put it on spirits. And then we go for purples. Like throne and so on. Something used for shaders? Oh, you mean Grim Internals, maybe? There was also Grim Internals. Grim Internals uh, has stopped its support with patch 1.1.9.7, though. Unfortunately, there is no more Grim Internals support for the current patches. He doesn't want to talk to me. Blade Spirit is so slow, holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> the ABB not lasting 8 seconds. I will force I will be forced to make a slot on my bar. I guess I have to drop barrier or something. I mean Depends on the build. You probably would have or should have already been using... If you need to make room for ABB on your bar now, then you probably are playing a build for which you should have already been playing or using rather uh, Shard of Baronath, right? I would have been downtime. Question mark? Downtime? Question mark? I mean, there is no dawn timer, it's up all the time. Maybe you mean something else? And there was no dawn time earlier either. Okay, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, 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 okay. So there's um like you lose out on normal attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you lose at one attack every four seconds before and now every eight seconds, so it's like I oh shit this guy actually applies thunder, Monka. With a wing flap attack. I, mean, I guess this one is just like one of those that you can't dodge ever. It's like, get fucked, lol. Okay, cool. Is that you, mother? 
As you command. Ah, trouble. She may not before it. Well, Agro, let's let's get to slapping. And you can't kill kill him, but you can like defeat him in a friendly brawl. That's kinda how it works. Alright, I think we're gonna stop here though. It's good to see the sun again, indeed, indeed. And I've already pushed like further than I wanted to. Like 1 to 5 done on this Reaper on 1.2 and yeah, there are some bugs with like the new rocks, I think. Uh, I mean there's some bugs here and there, but they're good. they will be fixed. Uh, overall though, like the more you get used to this ability, this way that it's just kind of fun. I don't know, like, if it's actually going to be used much the way they intended to be used. But it is pretty fun nevertheless. And... But the animation itself just needs to... Probably be, like... Adjusted a bit. Looks a little wonky. But yeah, like, iframing Sunders when you can actually iframe them is pretty fun. When when it's like the last boss right here who has like a big wave attack, you're gonna get Sundered either way, unless you actually like do proper distance, which you can do with like the movement abilities, but not with the evade. But yeah, I guess each has like its, uh, its purpose in a way. Anyway, I'll see you around on the next one.